We're coming up to uh, the time of year when swarming is going to be a possibility. Um, so this weekend I've made up some models up um, to show you a very basic artificial swarm. Um, so if you could go to your house to do an inspection, uh, you take off the roof, your crown board, you got bees there up in your supers, you take off your queen excluder and you do an inspection. Uh, and during your inspection you find that you've got a number of queen cells in there and, and your bees are in fact preparing to swarm. Uh, with this method you will need a spare set of equipment. Um, so if, if you're going to do an artificial swarm, you'll move your swarming hive um, to the side just over a meter or so and then you'll need to bring on uh, some new equipment so you'll put your bomb board you'll get a new brood box which you'll fill with some uh, frames with blank foundation um, some people prefer uh, ready drawn out comb I just prefer filling it with blank foundation as the, the older flying bees are returning from foraging, they're going to go back to their original site um, and they're going to start, start filling up uh, the hive. You'll then go to your, uh, your other hive and you'll find the queen. Um, easier said than done. Um, you can either capture the queen clip or you could actually transfer that frame across uh, to the new hive position. If you are transferring a frame across, make sure that you don't take any queen cells uh, across with you because if you do, these bees will swarm. This hive that you know, you've left for your queen cells, pick the best two queen cells. Some prefer sealed, uh, some people prefer unsealed. It's entirely your choice um, what you're going to do. Pop your crown board on there. Give them a feed because these are all young foraging bees because all the older bees that are foraging are going to return back to this main hive. Pop yourself a deke and a roof on and that's those taken care of. With this hive, pop your queen cylinder on. If you've got supers, put your supers on uh, because they will need uh, uh, that extra bit of food to help them pull out this blank foundation if that's what you're using. Crown bar back on and you move and basically that's it, that's your artificial swarm um, done. After several days you, you can move the, this hive to the other side um, and that will, in fact, the new flying bees from this hive will go up and return to this, this side uh, with, with you moving it to the other side and that's going to make it so you've got even less bees in, in this series of lives so it, it just helps against swarming. If you don't want that many hives at the end of the year um, or later on you can actually combine these two hives back together using the newspaper method. Um, just make sure that you, you go in and you, you kill the old queen uh, and you combine using the new queen. But in essence that is a basic artificial swarm.